The purpose of this video is to spread awareness and encourage other people to continue to talk about this because this is a serious matter that needs to be talked about. There is no other way around it. In the description, I have compiled a bunch of links where you can donate, sign petitions, and educate yourselves on the matter that I am going to be talking about. And I'm just going to get this out of the way. I 100% support the Black Lives Matter movement. If you support the All Lives Matter movement, then you are completely disregarding what is happening. In the description, there's also links to articles about why All Lives Matter hurts the Black Lives Matter movement. And if you support the Black Lives Matter movement, but say All Lives Matter, you need to also check out the articles in the description so we can make a change. Of course, I know that you are all aware about the protests and riots that have been going on all, all over the country and all over the world, basically. Like I said before, I 100% support it, and I am behind whatever choice that this organization and movement, I should say movement. I want to get this out of the way also. I am a privileged white male, so I have a lot of other opportunities that a lot of other people of other races and cultures don't have. And straight off the bat, I am a straight white male. So straight out of the womb, I those three things give me more opportunities than any other people of race, gender, or culture. This happened like around like a, a, a month ago that a couple of white dudes carrying guns went up to the U.S. Capitol and was what was basically a protest. No one was shot. There was nothing. It was very peaceful. But I guarantee you it would be completely different if those men were black. People's lives would have been lost and that's just unacceptable. If you think about the riots now and the lootings and all the protests that are happening, I wish they weren't happening. I wish that no one would be getting hurt. I wish that everyone could protest peacefully, but they can't. Martin Luther King once said, and I'm paraphrasing obviously, that riots are the language of the unheard. These people have been oppressed for so long. They've been ignored that they are angry and they're lashing out. So, of course, riots and lootings are going to happen. However, that does not excuse the killing of other people. Buildings, they can be rebuilt. So most of these buildings that are being... that are being destroyed have insurance. But human life can't be brought back. And all these like violent riots that begin most of the time aren't started by the rioters. They're started by the police. And now here comes the whole, my big opinion on this whole situation, on the whole police brutality movement. I think that it's fucked up that a police a policeman's job is to protect people but they are simply just abusing their position of power i have seen so many videos online of black men, black men and women just sitting on the side of the street not e not even avoiding, not even blocking traffic, sitting on the side of the street protesting, and then a police officer starts 
throws tear gas at them and so many other videos of police officers just beating the shit out of people only because of their skin color. Like I said before, a policeman's job is to protect people. It's to serve and protect. And I know that there are other good cops out there. I know that there are good cops. However, it's the entire force that's the problem. When George Floyd was being killed, there were three other officers at the scene of the crime. He, the main police officer that had his that had his knee on George Floyd's neck, the other three officers did absolutely nothing. They just watched them. Why didn't these people call him out? If you watched my videos in the past, you know that I'm not really good at making coherent thoughts clear. I have a lot of trouble just saying what I think. But I just... It's... As a content creator, I have certain privileges that a lot of other people don't have. Of course, that also goes into the white privilege. but And also, just to get out this out of the way, just because you have hardships, like, oh, I'm, I'm white, it do, and, but I still have to struggle, I have to survive, I, like, all that. Yes, you can have hardships as a, as a white person. However, white privilege specifically means that the color of your skin never hindered you. It was never, you never had any trouble because of the color of your skin. Just wanted to get that out of the way. This can't become another thing where we talk about it a couple days, but for the if, talk about it a couple days, and then we just move on and go back into the same system that we have been going into. A lot of people are saying that the system is broken. No. The system isn't broken. The system is working exactly how it was built. It was built to make sure that the straight white men are staying on top. We need a completely different system. We need to create a new system. I'm sorry if I'm jumping all over the place, but back to the police brutality thing. Police officers are abusing their role and they because they feel like they can get away with it and they they feel like they can get away with it because they because they have gone away with it in the past they abuse it so much that they feel like they can get away with anything during these protests they just start throwing tear gas they start throwing tear gas and they shoot rubber bullets at people which by the way, just in case you didn't know, rubber bullets were designed to be shot at the ground and then hit the person. They're just shooting it directly at the person. The weapons they were given aren't even being used properly. And they can get away with this shit. And they do it just because of the color of their skin. This just can't be another thing where we talk about it for a couple days and then we go back into the old system. We need to continue going. Change is happening and we need to push, keep pushing the change. I know to continue this along, protest is a huge part of it, so I encourage you all to protest. I encourage that you do what you can, go out there. But I also understand that for those of you that can't do it, we are still in a global pandemic. So I understand why you can't be out there with everyone else, but that's also partly why I also made this video. 
So then you can use the options you have down in the description to continue to support even from home. For those of you that have YouTube channels of your own, I encourage you to also make videos about this so then you can keep spreading awareness. As for everyone else, stay safe. We need to make change. So stay safe, love ya, and Black Lives Matter.